This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by GoDaddy. Hey, what's going on guys? Soldier Knows Best here. I'm here about to show you what Apple just introduced to the iPhone 4, iPad 1, the iPad 2 with this little connector here. Um, and, it's, and this allows you to actually output whatever's on your iPad screen to an HD TV. Looks really cool, right? So right now I have everything hooked up to it. And um, simply as you look, as you swipe through the pages here, it shows up on your TV. Um, everything you do here. So if I want to go ahead and open up the internet browser here, browse some web on a bigger TV for some odd reason, um, I can do that here. So everything looks exactly like it looks on the iPad here. That's why I have these multiple angles here so you can kind of see how everything works together there. Okay, very seamlessly. Um, and so you can also do photo booth if for some reason you want to take the picture here and, and this will probably be good for kids and show how it looks on your TV here. Say geez. And uh, so you can go back and forth here. Hmm. I need the floss. Uh, but uh, anyway, you can go back through here, do photo booth, just like that. I'm going to snap a picture. That's an ugly picture. But there's the picture that is snapped. And um, go to the photo library here, which I had a hard time finding. And uh, there it is. And you can use this to play back uh, pictures or any movies like so. Um, so our slideshow there. And uh, also, too, I guess some people are wondering whether Netflix and Hulu will still work. They will still, they, they will still work and also output the video to the TV here. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Hulu Plus here. And it's been some controversy about whether they're actually going to allow this to happen. But as you can see here, the video plays just like normal. I'm going to watch some Bones. And I have the volume down real low, so it won't be any echo or anything like that on my uh, on the video here. But anyway, you can see that the video plays here. There it is. It's just commercial right now, but it'll play if you wanted to, to watch the TV show. The same thing works with Netflix. I had no problem at all. And um, also, you can do the same thing with gaming as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and launch Real Racing. And go ahead and resume the game. All right. So, here I am racing. And uh, and so, again, the controls are very accurate. There's no you know, lag or anything like that from the iPad to the TV. So, you can use this for gaming. I know Apple will probably perfect this and developers will probably perfect it a little bit more. And maybe allow it to take, uh, take advantage of the full... A full TV here. It's just kind of still have the black bars on the side there. But anyway, this still looks good. It works just fine. That's real racing. Okay, so you can see here you can game on your iPad and play it on the TV as well. And also, if you change it to portrait and landscape mode, it will uh, change itself on the TV screen and everything works again. You can just see how fast that actually works and it's very accurate. And, um, and turn on the camera again one more time to show you. Move my smart pad out of the way. Don't allow. And uh, you can flip it here. So you want to do some some live browsing here. You want to go around, search around, yada, yada, yada. You can do that here. And so anyway, here, this is Soldier Knows Best here. Just showing you how this actually works in the iPad. Now, the connector itself, I think it's what? I think it's like $40 or so. It's very expensive. It's very, very expensive. But um, I can see some use for a lot of presentations, uh, people in the business world. But also, too, if you just want to, um, if especially when developers get on board and just show some applications or run Hulu, especially if you got rid of your cable bill, um, on your TV, it will work just fine. All right, before we go ahead and head out of here, to take one last look at our sponsor for this video, GoDaddy. Get reliable, secure web hosting without the long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99.99% uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitment. And remember, you can download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry app to order right from your phone, manage your current domains, and more. And for Soldier Knows Best viewers, you can get your own personal domain for only $7.99 by using the code SOLDIER3. And also check out revision3.com forward slash GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3. So anyway, so you those best here. Leave a comment down below about what you think about this new feature. And thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.